Hi there! Uh, it's Cyber Roommates, it's Monday, and we're reviewing John Candy's Going Berserk. I didn't like this. I'm really sorry, Neil. I tried, I did. I tried to. I tried my best, but it's doing nothing for me. Um, I think the main problem with this film is that it kind of suffers from what I'm going to call 80s shoestring syndrome, which um, affected a lot of these sort of comedies from the 80s and unfortunately quite a lot of comedies nowadays where the idea of a plot is used um, simply to tie together what are essentially um, a bunch of really weak sketches and I think um, whether you like this movie or not the, you have to admit that the plot is pathetic for this film. Um, John Candy plays a limousine driver who is about to marry uh, the daughter of a senator who is trying to convict um, no, a congressman, sorry, who is trying to convict the leader of a religious cult who then kidnaps John Candy and brainwashes him and hypnotises him into killing the congressman. But um, every time he's supposed to kill the congressman, he just becomes really lewd and starts talking about his penis. That's what it's about. Um, so yeah, that plot basically exists to tie together this series of sketches that aren't connected to each other at all and it's almost as if like 20 screenwriters were brought in and told to write a three page sketch each and then they all went into this one movie. Um, like one guy would come up with, let's make a kung fu movie, it'll be great, we can have this hilarious little cheap budget kung fu sketch. And then someone else will go, well, we could have this this crime caper. Someone will be like, oh, I'd like a bit in the jungle where he masturbates into the river and then gets spied by a boat. It's just, I don't know, it just doesn't work as a film. I think I may have enjoyed it more if it was just a collection of sketches starring John Candy, but it's it's not that. Um, it's not entirely without fault. I suppose um, some of the bits in the kind of convict escaping part where they're chained together are pretty good. There's one or two funny moments in that. Um, I really like the character of, uh, sorry, scratching my leg. I really like the character of um, Sal Di Pasquale. I think he's pretty funny. I loved it. Uh, I loved his wedding video where he's just screaming at everybody as they're coming in. Um, and he's like, standing in front of the ceremony, just like talking over it and saying how it's his film. I thought that was pretty good, but apart from that, no. Um, I don't think I'll watch it again, to be honest. I'll probably never watch it again. I'll, I've not touched anything else in the box set, and I'll probably give them um, the ones over. I'll watch them sometime. I'm not entirely sure when. Uh, but this, I don't know, I just couldn't get behind this at all. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> the next film I want us to review, well my suggestion for the next film, uh, we should review and I'd, I'd kind of like it if you guys suggested films at the end of your video so that we can start buying them in. But I'd like to uh, review What's Eating Gilbert Grape, starring Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio. So, yeah. Jesse, I look forward to seeing your review tomorrow, and Neil, I'll see you soon.